All right, good morning, you guys. It's Katia Books. Welcome back to my channel. There's a fan on because it's really hot here in Santiago. So I thought I'd do a what I eat in a day. Because once the work week starts, it's just it's hard to film. But yes, so today is a Sunday. Um, I have church today. I'm going to go lift later, so we'll see. I bring you guys with me to the gym or not. His legs. So, but anyways, let's start with breakfast because I'm hungry. Yeah. All right. So just to have you guys updated, I'm making some waffles over here using the Lions Pack birthday cake. Mix it with a little bit of vanilla protein powder. Coffee is being made. Um, yeah, protein powder and some zucchini. So that's why it's all green. But. You guys will see the final outcome. It's delicious. All right, so I have my breakfast right here. I made all of these pancakes using one serving of the Lion's Pack birthday cake. This is my favorite. And then I got more of my birthday cake spread because I ran out of it so quickly. And then I also bought maple donuts. I really wanted to try that. So I thought I'd try that with you guys. Looks like broke it. Everyone's raving about like legendary foods. Recently, I haven't tried this stuff. Mm. And macros are really good. For two tablespoons, 12 fat, eight carb, nine protein. Vegan, gluten free, all that fun stuff. Mm. Oh yeah, so recommend this flavor. So I'm just gonna top it off with some Walden Farms pancake syrup. I'm the only one who eats this, so it doesn't matter if I look it. <laughs> and then I'm gonna add some of the maple donut. Cause that just oh. mm. Oof. a little more. Cause it's just so good. Alright. Mm. You guys are tired because the birthday cake is also my jam. But this is so good. So, we'll add a little bit of the other one. Mm. Yes, mm. I have to lick this. I'm gonna eat this and I'll see you guys for the next meal. Okay, so I got back from church and now I am hungry. I also stopped at Ice Sprouts to get some stuff. Um, yeah, but it's lunchtime. Even though I'm not going to the gym for like another two hours, I wanted to do some work on the computer and whatever. But yeah, I need food in my belly. So, I decided, oh wow, that's really hot in my bed. Um, yeah. Okay, but yeah, I decided I'm gonna have like, do zucchini oatmeal or zotes, whatever the heck people wanna call it. Add some blueberries in it or something. I don't know, I haven't really decided to be honest. So, we'll figure out what I make. Yeah. Oh, and I forgot to say, yeah, I just came back from the Sprouts. Um, not like a crazy sh food shopping haul, but I just got more of my cashew milk um, because I use this mostly for um, like creamer at, in my coffee in the morning. I love my ripple, but it mixes kind of weird for some reason with coffee. I don't know why. It used to not. I got a ton of zucchinis. I use just one of like seven or something like that. This caramel stevia sweet drops stuff is great in coffee. It's better than just like the other flavored stevia drops. And then um, I wanted to try to add MCT oils. Like, I know it's in coconut oil, but I was like, 
different having just a straight up MCT oils. See if I notice a difference, whatever. Um, so this one's cool because it's a non-dairy creamer, so it's supposed to like go in your coffee and mix well. Because if you put coconut oil in your coffee, you have to like blend it or else it just separates, it looks all weird. So yeah, I'm gonna give this a try tomorrow morning before work and stuff. So we'll see how that goes. But yeah, oh, and then I have my cream soda Zevia. I'm obsessed with this flavor currently. They're Dr. Zevia or whatever, or no, the ginger root beer, that one's also really good. Yeah, they should sponsor me. So maybe you have, or maybe you haven't seen how people make um, zotes, whatever the heck you wanna call them, zucchini oatmeal, I don't know. Um, but you just take whatever oatmeal you want. I have, these are, these aren't the quick cooking oats because I bought these in bulk. They're just like gluten-free rolled oats. Um, and so they do take a little longer to cook. So with the rolled oats, I usually cook them separate and then I add in the shredded zucchini. I'm gonna add this one whole zucchini shredded um, and then I'll add whatever, this protein powder. I did a review on this, so if you guys wanna check out the review, go for it. Um, but yeah, otherwise if you do quick cooking oats, uh, you can put it all together and then stick it in the microwave. But for rolled oats, I don't know about steel cut oats, well no, steel cut oats definitely need cooking because they take even longer to make than this. So I'm gonna like put this, some of this in a bowl, maybe do tw like 20 grams worth of, mm, or 20 to 40 grams worth of carbs of the oatmeal and then yeah, obviously the whole zucchini, which is like really low in carbs, and then add about a scoop or two of protein, because I want to get maybe around 20 grams of protein, since this is a pre-workout meal. Oh, and then I'll probably add some like frozen blueberries to it. Ooh, yes. And then I'll probably add some of the stevia stuff, because I love this stuff, and I just haven't bought it in a while. So good when I go to like Starbucks and stuff. Okay, I'm going to stop talking, and I'm going to make this. Yeah. I also wanted to mention and kind of talk about the importance of like not just meal timing, but the kind of meal you have pre-workout because today I am doing like a heavier leg day. So my workout's gonna range definitely longer than an hour. So I want something that's gonna sustain me. So I'm choosing oats because it's a more sustaining kind of carbohydrate um, in like your system versus having fruit, which the glucose is just gonna hit your system quicker and then you'll have a sooner crash. So that's good for something like really quick when you really need it where this is going to sustain me longer so good choices are oats we got brown and wild rice quinoa sweet potatoes any berries or high fiber fruit so definitely recommend those i yeah it's still going to be a while till i go to go work out but for me i just want to give it time to digest and then i if i'm still hungry a little bit during my workout i'll have my intro workout drink You'll see that, but otherwise, yes. Yeah. So it does come in handy, the whole meal timing thing, when it comes to like when you're gonna work out because definitely for heavier lifts and even regular lifts, if it's not as heavy, whatever, you definitely wanna allocate a lot of your carbs towards that pre-workout and have um, also a good amount post-workout to replenish that glycogen that you've lost. So. For me, usually yeah, I work out later in the day, so I usually have like a lighter breakfast then because I want to shift more of my carbs towards before my workout, if you know what I mean. Yes. So I just want to show you guys what this looks like. So I cooked the oats and now I just shredded the, the zucchini, I almost forgot what it's called, and then now I'm just like mixing it up. And then I'm going to add, ooh it smells so good the oats, oh my gosh. I'm gonna add a scoop of the protein powder, a little bit of the stevia, and then some frozen blueberries, and then put it back in the microwave. Yes. Okay, this is the final product. I know it looks all green and stuff. Oops. That's because of the matcha chocolate protein powder and the zucchini, obviously. But, oh my gosh, you guys. Oh yeah. Chocolate, caramel, and then I put Cocoa Whip on it, because I just had some left. The light one, and so yes, I'm gonna. It's gonna nice and melt in there. So I'm gonna eat this. And then we'll probably go to the gym. I don't know. I'm gonna go do stuff on my computer. Yeah. Mm. Okay, so I'm gonna go lift with a friend. Um, yes. I don't know if I'm gonna grab something quick to snack on. No, but I will take my intro workout. 
supplement, not supplements, but powder, whatever. I don't know what the heck I'm gonna call it. Um, where did I leave my gym bag? I don't know, I'm going crazy. But yes, so let me show you what I use. Whoa, that's really high. One second, guys. So I take Intraforce from First Form. I'll link the link. I'll leave the link um, in the description box, but I totally recommend um, this stuff and this flavor is so good uh, for intra workout. So for long workouts, days that you're gonna be spending definitely more than an hour, it just really helps uh, give you some glycogen during the workout so that you can like replenish that and keep pushing yourself through the workout. So it's gonna be a heavy leg day. Uh, I'm working out with a friend, yeah, as I said. So I may not bring the camera because he's pretty much gonna be coaching me. So, did I just get a text from him? No, never mind, I'm not that popular. Okay, um, <laughs> yes, so I'm gonna pack some of this up. I'll just bring the tub in my bag and then, yeah. So I'll see you guys when I get back from the gym. Okay, bye. Okay guys, so I am back from the gym. Had the most amazing leg workout. You're gonna have to go check it out on my Instagram because um, I posted it there, the exercises I did. And it was only like three big exercises with like one just set of lunges and my legs, I, mean, I feel like a baby giraffe. But yes, yeah, so, so it's time to have some protein. And I would show you guys what I'm gonna have because it is a full day of eating, but I'll just show you that it's like this. So it is a sample because I'm gonna be filming a supplement review. I'll put the card above, so, but I just think that this video may come out before the supplement review. We'll see. Otherwise, yeah, you guys can go check that out. Otherwise, if you want to see what protein I'm taking, click subscribe so that you can watch that video eventually. Just you know, put that notification button. Otherwise, yes, I'm gonna film this video really quick and then we'll have something after that. Man, you guys, after that leg workout, like my energy just went full frontal with that. And so I'm so tired, but I'm having some asparagus. I don't know, I just like plain asparagus that I cooked in the oven. Some pepper. Yeah. I don't know. I love asparagus. So I'm gonna eat this. And uh, watch YouTube. So, second grocery shop haul, honestly, because I've eaten like so much salad lately that there's none anymore in the house. So I was really craving a salad. So I went back to buy, because I ate all my mom's. She had like a mix, so I just bought this. So she, I pretty much ate all of hers. Um, and for myself, two bags of three romaine. I love romaine. I know, like, nutritionally may not have much, but it's just, it, I love the volume that it adds. Um, Cause like, the whole thing is like, what, three carbs? It's been crazy. So two bags of that, I will eat one whole thing. Some diet cheats, um, the cheddar, because I ran out of the mozzarella one, and I want a cheddar for when I make um, quesadillas. So, yes, got that. I got mushrooms. Now, fun fact, I've never, ever, 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 ever liked mushrooms because taste, texture, and smell. So all things, but I know it's just, uh, I know they're high in protein. So I honestly, like, it sounds awful to do to myself, but I like force feed myself to eat them because they're just really good for you. It's a good vegan source of protein without like soy or anybody who's not afraid of soy or allergic to um, wheat. So yeah, sunflower butter, because I had ran out of my other one. And I honestly prefer this brand, the once again, than the sun butter brand. Whatever the sunflower seed butter brand that you usually see. I don't even know the name. And then some cauliflower, because I love roasting cauliflower in the oven. I'm not going to do that tonight. I'm just going to do a salad with mushrooms. Uh, but yes. So I'm going to make that real quick, and then I'll show you. And while I make the salad, I'm going to be just been on some Zevia cream soda because it's just been currently my favorite so yeah it's got no sodium so hey -o. I don't know what I'm trying to say so I'm about to put the salad together I got all the lettuce I chopped up some mushroom but I want to show you guys the dressing that I have been obsessed with making recently um, what I got was the Walden Farms Honey Dijon. It's really good. Um, it has that weird sweetness though. So I mix it with some extra Dijon mustard. I'll add a little bit of apple cider vinegar and then a little bit of this organic jalapeno pepper sauce that I found at Whole Foods. It is delicious. So 
So I make a dressing with that and put it over the salad and shake it up in the Tupperware. Here is the salad <laughs> with mushrooms. Oh my gosh, let's, let's, let's see. White button mushrooms, luckily, I can somewhat eat, so that's good. We got protein at least. All right, I need to do some GMAT stuff while I eat this. So I finished the salad and it was actually really good. So I think I'm gonna make another one with mushrooms again. Yeah. Oh, so also, since I have work tomorrow, today's a Sunday, tomorrow Monday, um, I am gonna go and prepare my meals for tomorrow. Um, so I'm gonna make my salad eat while I do that. So maybe I'll show you guys the salad. If I don't, I'm sorry, but it'll be romaine, lettuce, more mushrooms, and then I might use an Asian dressing this time because I have a well informed Asian dressing. Yeah. And then sprinkle some sesame seeds on top. Okay, so I got my last meal of the day, or the night, I guess. It's a smoothie bowl, so blueberries. I used some ca the rest of this one thing of cashew milk, some chocolate um, ripple milk, uh, a little bit of peanut protein, you know, like the powdered peanut butter, um, and some vanilla protein powder, and a little bit of guar gum. And then on top, I had somewhere in here, it's synced inside, but um, the uh, Lion's Pack Maple Donut Peanut Butter Spread. Oh, I live for that stuff now, you guys. You need to try it. My goodness. And then these are like little rice cakes, little drizzlicious rice cakes. So good. I was almost gonna put cereal on top and I was like, nah. I'm gonna end the night like this. This will be my last meal. I'll catch you guys just to close out this video after this. All right, my friends, so that's gonna be it for the night. I hope you enjoyed this what I eat in a day video as much as I did since I got to eat it all, you know? That smoothie bowl it was bomb. I am so full and so ready. Well, I am ready to go to bed, but I still have to prep my food because I didn't do it yet. And then I gotta wake up early for work. Oh, I have to shower. Okay, I have a lot to do, you guys. I will see you guys in the next video. I love you, so don't forget to subscribe. Thumbs up. Like it. This food's great, right? Comment below any other video suggestions or whatever. So, I love you all. Bye.